In a previous tutorial, what we did is looked at how to synchronize folders. So in this particular case, I created the sync toy demo where I have files in a desktop folder and I want to back them up to my network drive. So I've got a backup here. So let's go ahead and see how that works. So right now you can see in my desktop folder, I have these two files. If I go to my backup folder, there's nothing in there. So what I want to do is run sync toy and then I want it to back up this folder to this. So if I was working on my desktop, I can back up to a network drive or Dropbox or a portable drive or whatever I want to do. So let's go ahead and run it. And then you can see it's running. It did the two files. Let's go ahead and look in our folder. So if I go to backup, I can see now that I have uh, those files in there, right? So let's go ahead and uh, set this up to run automatically using the task scheduler. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up my task scheduler. You can find that on your Windows machine. I just look for task scheduler. And then what we're going to do is create a new task. And what we want it to do is schedule the task, right? So we want it to run the sync toy application and we want it to run at a certain time. So I might want to run it like in the evenings, once a day I'm done with work, go to eat dinner, and then maybe at seven o'clock or eight o'clock, I just have it run. So what we do is just gonna go ahead and create a basic task. Uh, we'll call this sync toy um, demo, All right? So that's my task here. You can put a description if you want, go to next. When do I want to run it? I can run it daily, right? Maybe when I log off, whenever, right? And then, uh, when do I want to start it? You know, whatever. Again, I can put any date and time on here. We want it to run daily. And I'm going to go ahead and what do we want it to do? The actions, we want it to start a program. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now I need to find that program. So I hit browse. That's going to be in the pro your C drive program files, sync toy 2.1. And inside there, you're going to need to find the sync toy CMD, uh, executable. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and hit open. And then uh, you can add an argument. I don't know a lot about this, but I do know if you add that minus sign and then capital R, I believe what that does is it runs all of those folders and not just the one specific one. So it's going to run everything. We're going to go ahead and hit next. And then we're going to hit finish and you can see it's kind of giving you an outline of that. And then you can see it in here. What was that sync toy demo? So there's the sync toy demo. You can double click on there. I believe that opens it up and you can come and do edits uh, to those things. So that's go, that's going to run then at four or five every day. Um, now, if I want to test it to see if it's going to work, I'm going to assume the timing works, right? I can go ahead and hit run and then it'll run it. Let's go ahead and make a change to our desktop here. We're going to go to this demo one folder. My name is Tom. That is my name. It sure is. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this out. We're going to save it. So now I made a change to this file. And then when I run sync toy, it should back up over here in the backup folder. So we're going to go ahead and run the scheduler just to test it to see if it's working. It's running. It ran it. And now if I come back into my folder, go to backup, let's go ahead and see what it did to the file here. And I can see it updated that file. So it's overwriting that file. So a lot of really cool things you can do. Uh, Sync toy still works. I'm on Windows 11. And then what you can do is just set it up to back up to, you know, maybe you back up your portable drives, maybe you're working and you don't want to have any conflicts working from Dropbox or one of these uh, online uh, storage programs. So you can just work on your desktop and then set sync toy up to run on a schedule and then back up automatically. Hopefully that helps.